So in today's video, I'm going to be saving you a bunch of money. No more going to the groomer, no more hassle with cutting your dog's nails. Step one, we're going to teach your dog to go up onto a place and be comfortable staying on that place. Number two, we're going to teach your dog to relax. Relax? Yes. We're going to reward when they're relaxed on the place. Step three is we are going to pull out the clippers and we're just going to have them around the dog. Yes and we will mark and reward. We're gonna do this for several sessions for uh, about a half a week. Number four, throughout the day we're gonna be touching our dog's paws. Not making it too long, not making it too uncomfortable, just enough so that the dog's getting comfortable with it. Step number five, when I'm making the paw touching comfortable, I'm also going to simulate cutting the nails. You want to have your treats way quicker than that. That was kind of messed up. Step number six, I believe. We're going to take out the clippers and we're just going to touch the dog's paws with them. Yes. Yes. So you want to be in a calm manner because we want our dog to be calm during this period of time. We want to teach the dog that it's a relaxed time and nothing bad is happening. Step number seven. Now that we have our dog relaxed and comfortable with the clippers being around them, and being touched to them, we're going to get to the actual cutting. AJ, relax. If you want, we can teach a shape to offer you the hand, which is good. So now we take it, and we're going to go at a straight angle. So, if the claw is like this, we're going to clip like this, right underneath the red. We don't want to hit the red because you're going to have a problem with ever clipping your dog's nails again. Many of you might have run into this problem in the past and your dog is very averse to this. That is why I take all of these extra steps to ensure that the dog feels comfortable. This is a dog that in the beginning I never thought I'd clip his nails. I thought I was gonna get bit. To be successful you have to start small. Now step number eight, we have our dog relaxed. We have them compliant with the nails going around them. They're not putting their face up to it. They're not growling. They're not hesitating. So now we're ready. Relax. Good. So I already clipped his nails, but we will find a little area that we can get some more. Yes. And we just did the tiniest amount at first and rewarded. Just one foot at this point. Just one toe at this point. We might keep the session done right there. We'll come back to it later in the day. The next day, you just want to start small and continue to work your way up. I hope this helps.